Drop it! I'm not gonna drop it! Alright, let's drop it! Stupid. Alright. What? Go, drop it. Okay. <laughs> What's up, you guys? <laughs> it's Adana. I am back with the three tips to make your personal statement bomb. And I have with me my happy oh, aunt's in the house. In the house. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> What's up, y'all? How you doing? I'm Anthony. AKA Anthony the PA husband. <laughs> you know, should start my own YouTube channel, Anthony the PA, the PA husband. husband. Yeah. <laughs> I am really glad that he can be here to help you all on your personal statement journey. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And leave a comment in the comment section below. If you guys need to do a lot of stuff. <laughs> what? Right. I just want, just want watch. them to engage with me. <laughs> leave a comment, you guys, on what you want to see next and hit up my GoFundMe page. So Anthony is going to talk about three tips from a creative writing standpoint on how to make your personal statement better. I wrote my personal statement and it was like from a medical standpoint, but it was horrible. So I asked him for his help because I'm it like, was hey, you're a great writer. I was like, I need your help. You see me struggling. And... He helped me out tremendously. First of all, if you ain't see that video, be sure to hit that description box below. There's a link for the, vi the video where she just did what she talks about. She actually reads through her old personal statement and her new personal statement. And uh, you get a good, good look at that right there. Um, as a disclaimer, you guys, I am not a professional in the PA career. Um, you know, so uh, this is not a perspective from somebody who is coming from the career. This is just a perspective of a creative writer. I am a professional creative writer. That's what I do, uh, an aspect of what I do for a living. So here are my three tips on how you can improve your personal statement. Also, you guys, if you want to hear more tips on how to write your personal statement, not from a creative standpoint, but from a PA standpoint, the medical view, um, just let me know and I'll be sure to get that out for you guys. All right, tip number one. So listen, all right, if you're watching this, you're probably really smart. So uh, usually smart people like this one right here, <laughs> all of you guys are very good at just, I don't know, being vain and talking about yourself and telling everybody how amazing you are and how what you've accomplished in school and in life and your GPA, your 3.99 GPA and you did this trip and you, you have so much of this. You're really good at doing all that stuff. So since you're good at that already, I'm going to go ahead and tell you some pieces that are, are going to uh, uh, be uh, a little bit more complimentary. Complimentary? Complimentary? Com yes. Complimentary. See, you know, I'm not, you know, there's things I got to work on my day so. Um, but here are some other pieces of that. So, number one, you got to keep in mind that all the schools that you're applying to, these people are reading through hundreds, if not thousands, thousands. of personal statements from people. And a lot of them are just so much of the same thing. So, number one, you got to start your personal statement with something that's immediately, immediately going to capture their attention to the point where they're going to want to keep reading. On Adana's uh, personal statement that I helped her with, we started with uh, uh, just a, an intro sentence. You can check that out once again on that other video she did where she read through the whole thing. Uh, but we start off with an intro sentence about a genie lamp. Yes. And we just took, we took the, the reader in the very first sentence and put them in the mind of a story. Some sort of a, a, a fun, interesting thing. And once you read that first statement, it's like, wow, this is so different from everything else I've been reading for the past three hours. Yeah. Let me keep reading. And a lot of times you guys are, so a lot of times people can be a little bit scared to be creative. And when you're dealing with a personal statement like this or, or dealing with a situation where you're trying to capture people's attention, it's not wrong to be creative. It's actually a plus. So you want to be a little bit more creative and do something, say something, put them in a place where they want to keep reading. Take them to Acrobat. What the freak is that? It's Aladdin. Oh gosh, you look a little bit like Jasmine, though. Do I? Yeah. No, sure. Her hair was back in like. Oh, that's her, right. Her Jasmine wasn't bombing. She had that big. Uh, oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Brownie point. Brownie point. Tip number two. Once you've uh, captured their attention, you guys, you want to continue to bring them along on your journey. Remember, this is your personal statement. That doesn't mean that you have to tell them everything about how wonderful and great you are. Yeah, you can add that in there. But what you also want to do is make touch their emotions. Say some things in that personal statement that's going to get them to, to feel you. Remember, these are human beings reading your personal statement. These are people with children of their own, and, and they have a heart. So if you can say things in your personal statement that they can connect to, whether it's telling a, a short moment about um, uh, your cousin who passed, and that's what triggered your, your uh, response to want to get in the medical field, or whatever the case is, something that is going to emotionally attach to them, and, and just creatively share that without getting too, you know, graphic and detailed. Yeah. My, my, my cousin got shot in the face and three times. Blood you know, and it got in my eye. And then my eye would turn red and I was like, oh my God, and I went to the doctor and the doctor helped me out. No, he 
got to do all that. Yeah. All you got to do is just make sure that you touch their emotions, bring them along on your journey by touching their emotions through your story. Remember, your personal statement is not just a collection of information about yourself, it's also a story. That's deep, actually. It was. <laughs> Dang, I just, shoot! It was pretty That's good. That's deep. <laughs> your personal statement is not just a collection of information, it's also your story. So make sure that from the start to the middle to the end, you make it a story. That's really deep. Which leads into tip number three. The final tip, you guys. When you, in your closing statement, you want to make sure that you end very strong. And in creative writing, some of the best ways to end strong is where you attach the end of your story to the beginning of your story. So what you want to do is, uh, just like we did with Adana's second personal statement, um, we, we started off with the story of the genie lamp and we talked about how she wanted to make a wish to become a PA. And then at the end of it, in her final paragraph, actually in her final sentence, she reminded the reader about that genie lamp. And that, that triggered the emotional response to remember that beginning part. And then she was able to actually engage that reader by posing the question, will you grant my wish? to become a PA. It put that reader in position to, ha to have the power to let this woman become in her program. Yes. So it's all part of the story. You know, it's really kind of deep, man. Like I, I didn't, like we came into this just kind of thinking about the three tips, but even through talking it out and right live in front of you guys, we just now realize that the power in your personal statement is not just your information, but it's the story that you put together. So be sure to do a great job at telling your story creatively. If you're not a great creative writer, if your strength is not in, in creative storytelling, then work with someone who can help enhance your personal statement and enhance your story by adding in those creative elements that will get those people who are, are uh, looking at your personal statement to really be attached to you. Well, that's it. I think that's what we got. Yeah, thank you, babe, so you know, much for helping me out. That's what I do. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, leave that in the comment section below. We'll be sure to get back to them. Um, I'll, I'll probably have Ant answer some of them as well if it's all about I ain't answer none of creative. Y'all stuff. I if ain't, it's creative, uh, y'all ain't like answer the dang thing. <laughs> you got questions, you ask her about it. It's her channel, okay? I'll have him no, answer playing. some of them you. as well, you guys. And um, go ahead and like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe done. to my wife's channel, you guys. If you're, a lot of you guys, we look. I I read the analytics here, okay? A lot of you guys are watching her stuff, but you have not yet hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that button now, man. Why not? If you're gonna keep watching, just just subscribe and support her on this journey, man. Do that, man. Come on, man. Are you crying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. This is his creative acting side <laughs> coming out, guys. Um, anyways, thank you guys again. Hit my GoFundMe page up. That's in the description box below. And we will see you, well, no. I will see you guys next time. Bye.